Welcome to the Civil Engineering Writing Project. This webcast covers using vocabulary for precision and accuracy. What do you need to know about effective writing in civil engineering practice? Engineering requires precision. Your words have to be as precise and accurate as calculations and analyses are. You cannot use words casually or for general meaning as you do in conversation. Even for non-technical descriptions, you need to choose words for precise meaning. What do experienced engineering practitioners say about writing? Your engineering is only as good as your communication of it. Even words that seem similar, like calculate, estimate, and determine, don't mean the same thing. If you use the wrong word, you say something you don't mean and you can end up causing unintentional liability for the firm. So, what do effective word choices by engineering practitioners look like? Every word is accurate and necessary for conveying the writer's idea. Each word expresses precise, unambiguous meaning. Consider this sentence. The bridge carries two lanes of the highway traffic one westbound lane and one eastbound lane over the Grand Pass River. This sentence uses specific numbers and directions, two lanes, one westbound and one eastbound. These modifiers precisely describe the configuration of the bridge. Professional writers carefully select verbs to provide accurate meaning. The purpose of the project is to improve the safety and capacity of the I-610 at Moraine Highway on-ramp. Note the use of improve safety rather than make safe. Evergreen forests dominate the higher elevations. Dominate carries a different and more precise meaning than are at. This report contains information on alternatives that would help reduce roadway flooding on Lone Hill Road in Jackson County. The phrase, would help reduce, is quite different from will prevent. In a court of law, the difference could be critical. Also notice that the writer has selected words to provide complete meaning. In the first sentence, both safety and capacity are used. Either one alone would not provide an accurate description of this project. Finally, professional engineers do use personal pronouns when they are appropriate. It has been a pleasure assisting you in this phase of your project. Here, you and your refer to the reader, the engineer's client, and are appropriate when the writing directly addresses the client. Engineers are known for being accurate. Experienced engineers know how to use the appropriate degree of accuracy. Sometimes less is better. When approximate measurements are appropriate, limit the number of significant figures and use an adverb such as approximately or roughly before the value. The existing bridge crosses the Robles River and is located on the Copper Stanville Highway, approximately 21 miles east of Copper City. Lindsay Avenue crosses over 29th Street in the Powell Historic Inventory Area and is the sole means of access to approximately 40 homes. These sentences were used to provide context in the reports from which they were taken. More exact measurements, such as 21.73 miles east of the city boundary, or 39 homes in one garage apartment, are not only unnecessary, but could be misleading or create legal liability should they prove inaccurate. The writers still use measurements, but they express the lack of precision with adverbs appropriately and roughly. When exact values are needed, engineers use them. The minimum permanent vertical clearance shall be 23 feet 4 inches measured from the top of the highest rail to the lowest obstruction under the structure. The test results indicate a sulfate concentration of 0.0017% by weight. 
These sentences provide measurements with the degree of accuracy required in each context. The writers provide the required significant figures, but no more, and the units are clear. Here are four techniques you can use when revising a draft of a paper to improve the precision and accuracy of the word choices. First tip, identify words that are ambiguous or imprecise and replace them with words that clearly convey your intended meaning. Consider this sentence. A project like this takes great coordination and planning to make sure that the environment and the communities are not negatively impacted. You may want to pause the video now and identify the three ambiguous words or phrases in this sentence, then replace them with more accurate words. As written, this sentence has several ambiguous or imprecise words. A project like this is vague and casual language. What is this? The writer likely means this project. Great could mean a large amount, excellent, or intricate. Make sure is unrealistically absolute. It's not likely we can eliminate all negative impacts, but we can minimize them. How about this alternative? This project requires detailed coordination and planning to minimize the negative impacts on the environment and communities. By using precise word choices, the revision makes the content unambiguous. Notice it's also shorter. Tip 2. Replace words like some, a little, or often with specific quantities whenever you can. The presenter showed us how to clean up a site, which included a few steps with a lot of procedures. The first one was... This description is vague and ambiguous. A few and a lot can mean many different numbers. How about this alternative? The presenters described how to clean up a site. They covered five steps, each of which included six to eight procedures. The first step... The revision specifies the quantities. Notice that even the use of approximate quantities, six to eight procedures, improves the clarity of the message. The revision also replaces showed with described. This is more accurate. There was a presentation, not a demonstration. Tip 3. Delete unnecessary words. Or as my high school teacher said, when in doubt, leave it out. Try improving each of these sentences. This bridge will make it easier for people who don't necessarily have a car to cross the river. The concrete under the overhang meets a sort of a point above the concrete piers. Necessarily adds nothing to the meaning of this sentence. Delete it. Sort of is a vague expression often used in conversation, but it seldom belongs in engineering writing. If the concrete meets in a point, the sentence should simply say that. If the word point doesn't describe the situation properly, then pick a word that does. Tip 4. Read what you really wrote. If it doesn't make sense, fix it. Consider this sentence taken from a lab report where the writer was discussing why measurements by team members varied. This reality was true for a variety of reasons. It certainly is true that reality is true, but it sounds silly and it doesn't tell the reader anything. A better alternative would be... The variation in team members' measurements can be attributed to three factors. Or how about this one? The design results in an oppressive feeling driving under the overpass and causes an instinctive slowing as you approach. The writer inaccurately uses you to mean drivers in general. The writer also claims to know that drivers feel oppressed. Let's try a rewrite. The design results in a dark underpass with a short sight distance that causes approaching traffic to slow. This revision makes the observation precise. Try these four techniques next time you're revising your writing. They really work. Promise. Let's close by busting a big myth. Some students choose words because they think they need to sound smart. If you have that urge, resist it. It usually leads to word choice that is neither accurate nor precise, such as this example. Jensen Smithford Engineering is one of the oldest and most proliferous firms in the industry. 
The fact that the entire presentation took place in the company's meeting room and not on its working floor lent a somewhat advertisemental feeling to the visit. In modern English, proliferous refers to plant reproduction and growth methods. Advertisemental isn't even a word. Instead of sounding smart, the student's writing sounds silly. If you want to sound smart, concentrate on expressing accurate content with precise, unambiguous words. Otherwise, you'll just be busted.